another one and here in with another throwback thursday review and the rotation leads us to a star wars review and today it is on the atst and general grievous's starfighter from 2007. so on the front of each booklet see the like darth vader border with a large 30 since of course there's 2007 was the 30th anniversary of star wars and you see, is that an action and the set number and what's next? So on, the, so on the back of which you see the old style version of General Grievous with it behind him for whatever reason. And then after Lego Shop at Home and Lego Club. Then the pieces that come with the set. And for the ATST and for the Y Wing that was out at the time, and then after some of the other sets at the time, and of course the OG battle packs. And then large generic scene of the OG battle packs, of course. And then the two features of it and the last step. And then with ATST of which the pieces that come with the set, and then after Shop at Home and Lego Club, then add for some of the early sets, add for the OG Battle Pack, or I mean just the first Battle Packs of course, and then add for all the features of it and the last steps. First of which is Joan Grievous, the old stock, older time version. Well, the same version that has been used since 2005. Oh, whoops. It's just on this one that has kind of weakish leg -like piece, but I'll replace it on Brick Link. And of course, first time of having him in a little while as well, since like the Chase set in 2005, of course. At least until the, they updated him in 2010, uh, yeah. But this time around doesn't include the cape, of course. But also is that, yes, in this set has all four lightsabers, but you'll see that in a bit. Also an old style time blaster that he can hold, of course. And to the only, and as for the Okay. Uh, sorry about that. And so, as for the ATST pilot, of course, it was well, his prints of which kind of similar to his later ones, but also does that Jim Strap and goggles and same helmet as other ones, or no back torso print. Same black hair and no double side face, of course. And that is it with the mini fig selections. And so, first of which, for General Grievous's Starfire, of course, you get about three of these large uh, uh, slope pieces. And of course, this was released again in 2010 but clone war style and also later this year of 2020 getting another version of it but also clone wars again but of course this was for revenge of the sith and well for both things which have the like brown cheese slopes and still using the old time trans orange of course You get a couple of blasters that are in the kind of the rounded slopes and it can move up and down, of course. Although you can pull it all the way back and then they're well hidden. And that's for the upper part of which, and also good use of the like cone pieces acting as front parts. And 
as you can see, also do have the like a lot of the tan and brown tiles to make sure to make the mechanism work slowly. And so the main feature which is that you pull this forward and the cockpit opens up all the way. Well, unless if it you pull it. Oh whoops. Uh hang on. And of course, sometimes older sets can tend to fall apart, obviously. Anyways. And also, of course, enough space. If you like, put your grievances, arms all in, and slide them in perfectly. And what I do is put the blast into it and fits in snugly. And also, from the back view, you've got a couple of those like cylinder pieces and a couple of slopes as a back black, but it can go up and down and rather than turn the other ways. But from the bottom of which you got the a detachable uh, rack for his Ford lightsabers, of course, and can hide them underneath it so you don't have to have it off to the side, which I think is cool. And now onto the ATST itself. As for the leg area, which have good use of the like slope, other slope pieces, there, and also good use of these like uh, car. Uh, winch pieces. It's the same with on the back of the upper leg, and see it's uh, and, but also can has more movement in them compared to unlike the other versions, which kind of don't at all. And then also some more the dish pieces have some of the dish pieces also like the other versions. As the head part, which kind of big for it, and also do get a couple of lightsaber rods for the blasters, of course, and one end have that, and the other side just that. But from the back view of which, have a little gear that turns it back and forth, just also like the other versions. And a couple of vents. Yeah, vents back there. And some more of those like slopes. And a couple of big corner slope, jagged slopes, of course. And also from the top of which can open right up and get a single seat. Of which and also a little clip for the blaster for your ATST pilot, of course. See, kind of deep to put it in. And also, no clips to the side to like have Chewbacca hang right out. Although, you can use that with this like bar from the front. So, although, kind of out of proportion compared to the other versions. So on to a brief little comparison of which, which is the first version of it from 2001 and the Rogue One version from 2016. So as you can see, it came a little bit larger than that, but lost some of the brown to it. And that's whereas this was probably like twenty dollars at the time. And of course, this one was 40 at the time. And, well, and of course, doesn't have this feet, the walking feature of it. But at least they, but they kind of fixed it with uh, this version. Same with the one in Battle of Endor of 2009. And has lost some bits to it. And although the top parts of it are also quite different, I'm not sure why that is, but also the back parts of it, 
uh, at least it on the this version done a little better with you know the tiles and all, but this a lot of exposed studs. But you know it's a few year different, so I guess they kind of did just had to make do with what they had at the time. And so now, on to the final verdict. So, overall, these of which are uh, a pair of pretty good sets for the time. First time of having ATST around in a while. Well, after that UCS version, of course. And also, first time of having General Grievous around in a little while as well. And of course, first time having this one outside of Clone Wars, of course. But also, get plenty of these. Get all these large slope pieces. Good if you're making a large, uh, large ship mock and need to use some long slopes. Then, good for that. And if you still have these sets from back then, well, I hope you had some good memories of them. And for those of you who haven't and still have access to these sets, then I'd say go ahead and get them. eBay, BrickLink, whatever. And that's about it with this video, and thanks for watching.